So welcome to part two of Cardiac Anatomy for Radiology. This is part of a 10 part series covering basics of cardiac imaging anatomy. It's going to be useful for anyone who's studying for their FRCR examinations or who's interested in getting a better understanding of the imaging anatomy of the heart. So in this section we're going to be covering the valves of the heart. So if we look back at that structured diagram we had of the heart in part one, we're now going to add in the valves. We've got four valves that we're worrying about in the heart, the tricuspid valve, the pulmonary valve, the mitral valve and the aortic valve. And these valves can be divided into two types. We've got the tricuspid valves and the bicuspid valves. And these are named because they either have three cusps or two cusps. So the tricuspid valves are the aptly named tricuspid valve itself and the aortic valve. The bicuspid valves are the pulmonary valve and the mitral valve. So let's start with the tricuspid valve. So this is between the right atrium and ventricle. It's aptly named because it's three cusps and you can see it here with the orange arrow and the blue lines on this CT scan. The second valve as you go through the heart is the pulmonary valve and this is the exit of the right ventricle that the blood takes. So we've got it here with the orange arrow and the blue lines, you can just see the pulmonary valve on this CT scan. The next valve as you pass through the heart is the mitral valve and this is the left atrioventricular valve and it's got what's called a fish mouth on this short axis imaging, that wide oval opening and you can see it on the CT scan and the axial pictures as well there. And then the final valve in the heart is the aortic valve. And then the final valve we've got in the heart is the aortic valve. And this is the exit from the left ventricle that the blood takes into the aorta. It's got three cusps. And when you look at it um, going straight down the aorta, it has this classic Mercedes-Benz sign. You can see this Mercedes-Benz 3 sign here where all the cusps meet. So the aortic valve has a few different bits that we should know the names of. We've got the aortic cusps, which are these flappy bits here, and then we've got the commissures, the darker line here, the joins between the two cusps. So cusps and commissures, important um, words to remember when describing the aortic valve. There's another valve in the heart, it's called the eustachian valve. This is an embryological remnant. You don't see it in everyone. Some people it's more prominent than others. And in the fetus it directs the blood from the right atrium to the left atrium. It's pretty difficult to see on CT and MRI, so I've not got any pictures for you. It's unlikely to come up in exams. So that's a very quick overview of some of the valves of the heart and some of the classical pictures that you might see. The next part will be part three, the great vessels.